Tony Mockbell was an underworld kingpin for more than a decade and his time on the run made him Australia's most wanted fugitive. In recent years, Mockbell has beaten two murder charges and police dropped several other drug charges against him in return for a guilty plea to the counts upon which he was sentenced today. Lisa Maximovic reports on the life and times of Tony Mockbell. In March 2006, just days before he was to be sentenced for cocaine trafficking, Fat Tony, as he was known, fled Melbourne. An international manhunt was launched and a million dollar reward offered. The drug boss hid at a farmhouse in Bonnie Doon before sailing a yacht from Western Australia to Greece. In his absence, he was sentenced to 12 years jail and detectives continued to strengthen other cases against him. It took 12 months to track him to Athens, where he was living in a luxury apartment with his girlfriend and baby. In July 2007, relaxed, thinner and wearing a toupee at a cafe, Tony Mockbell's life on the run came to an end. Mockbell fought extradition but failed. By May 2008, he was back on Australian soil, facing two murder charges and serious drug trafficking charges. A jury acquitted Mockbell of financing the murder of gangland identity Louis Moran, a public killing arranged by his close friend Carl Williams. Prosecutors said he'd provided $150,000 for the hit, but ultimately the jurors decided he wasn't involved. Mockbell was also accused of ordering the 2003 killing of hot dog vendor Michael Marshall, but that charge was later withdrawn. The 46-year-old was facing seven different trials over his drug empire when he struck a plea deal with prosecutors last year. Four of them were abandoned in return for guilty pleas on the remaining three. The case against Tony Mockbell has cost Victoria hundreds of thousands of dollars, plus the possible million-dollar reward that could be paid out. It's the end of a long uh, chapter in my life and certainly the lives of all the other men, men and women of the Prana Task Force who did such an admirable job. And, you know, it's good to see a conclusion finally. For all the money and the many years it's taken, police would certainly argue that putting Mockbell behind bars has been worth it. Lisa Maximovic, ABC News.